A context-free grammar can recognize a string in a language after a finite number of steps. But it might be possible to recognize a string in fewer steps. So we might ask, can we make a context-free grammar more efficient? Our production rules gradually convert the start symbol into a string of terminal symbols. At each step, our string will consist of terminal symbols and non-terminal symbols. Our production rules might increase the number of non-terminal symbols, but can never reduce the number of terminal symbols. And so it seems that a string of length k can be produced after k steps. Or can it? We can avoid producing a terminal symbol by a production rule like s produces b. So we could avoid producing a string of length k indefinitely by unit production rules like a produces b. In other words, a production rule that just produces one non-terminal symbol. So what if we have no unit production rules? If we don't have any unit production rules, then every rule will either introduce at least one terminal symbol, A produces B, B, or introduce at least one more non-terminal symbol, A produces B, C. But since we need to eliminate the non-terminal symbols eventually using a rule of the form A produces a terminal symbol, then after at most k minus 1 steps, S will become a string of maybe non-terminal symbols of length k. But then at this point, after at most k more steps, this will become a string of terminal symbols of length k. And so a string of length k will take at most 2k minus 1 steps to produce. Or will it? Remember, we can include the empty string lambda in any string of length k and still have a string of length k. So if our production rules include lambda productions like a produces lambda, we could delay the production of a string of length k for more steps. So we also need to avoid lambda productions. Now, if our language does include lambda itself, we are going to need at least one lambda production. So the question is, could we at least eliminate lambda productions in L minus the empty string? As it turns out, we can. So let's see if we can do it. So let's consider. Suppose we have a grammar with rules. Now first note that in general, production rules only allow us to replace non-terminal symbols. Once you've introduced a terminal symbol into a string, it can't be eliminated. So if A produces lambda, then lambda will remain until the end of the production. But since it's the empty string, it will be eliminated. And since our production rules only act on the non-terminal symbols, then lambda won't affect any productions. So we could just ignore any occurrence of lambda. This suggests we can combine the two rules into a single expanded rule by taking two steps at once. For example, since we could have the production S produces ABA, then using A produces lambda, that gives us lambda BA, but lambda is the empty string, so that really reduces down to BA. then we can combine the two steps into the single rule S produces BA instead. Similarly, we can combine S produces ABA produces AB lambda, which is AB, into the single rule S produces AB. So adding the rules S produces BA and S produces AB makes the rule a produces lambda redundant, at least for construction starting from s. What about our production rule starting from b? Again, using a produces lambda, we might have b produces a a, which produces a lambda, which just produces a, so we can introduce the rule b produces a. 
Now, note that since we've already taken care of the productions from S that use A produces lambda, we don't need to worry about the production B produces S. Finally, let's consider the rule A produces BA. If the derivation from this included a lambda production, we'd get A produces BA, which produces B lambda, which produces B, so we could use A produces B instead. And so by incorporating A produces lambda into our other production rules, it seems we could eliminate this as a production rule. Now in this case, lambda isn't part of the language, so we can entirely eliminate that production rule. In other cases, we can eliminate the production rule and produce all strings in our language except for the empty string. So let's see how that might work. The language of palindromes has these production rules, including a lambda production. So let's rewrite the rules to eliminate the lambda production in the language of palindromes minus the empty string, because the empty string is in fact a palindrome. So one lambda production rule could be S produces ASA, which produces A lambda A, which is the same as AA. So we can eliminate this by introducing the rule S produces AA directly. Similarly, we can replace S produces BSB, B lambda B, which is just BB, by the rule S produces BB directly. So we can eliminate the lambda production by adding these new rules and eliminating the production S produces lambda.